everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Annie's Smoking Pot. Today we are going to be making a vegetarian dish. It is going to be a coconut curry cauliflower and we're just going to serve that over just plain white rice. Very simple, quick, easy, but tasty. So the first thing we want to do is get our pot going to about a medium, medium high heat. You don't want to go too hot because it will burn. And then I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of olive oil. You can use any oil you want. You can use a neutral oil if you prefer. I kind of like the flavor of olive oil in this one. So to this pot, you're going to add two sweet mini peppers, just chopped up roughly. You're gonna add about a third of a cup chopped um, bell pepper. Your choice, whatever color or flavor you like. I like the orange. I think that's already been determined. Then we've got a teaspoon of chives, a teaspoon of minced garlic. Let's go ahead and we're gonna add our cauliflower, but let's give this a stir here real quick so I can hear it sizzling. And then we're gonna add in our cauliflower. Now, since it is just my husband and I, this is about half of a head of cauliflower, just chopped up roughly. Just kind of pull the little blossoms, I guess they're called off, or bundles, or I don't know. If you know what they're called, great. Let me know in the comments below. Head of cauliflower? Head of cauliflower. Head? Head. No. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Head's the whole thing. Yeah. All right. And then to this, we are going to add, whew, this is a combination. It's a half a teaspoon each of cumin, coriander, turmeric and ground ginger. We're just gonna throw that in there. Now, normally you would add about a half a cup of chicken stock, but because this is vegetarian, I don't wanna do that. So what I'm going to add is about a half a cup of just water because we wanna go ahead and let this steam for a little bit. So we're gonna add that in there and then I'm gonna cap that off with a lid give that another stir here. Okay, we're just gonna let this simmer now for about, we're gonna go for about seven to 10 minutes. I'll see you back here in seven to 10 minutes. Oh, at this point in time, you can get your rice going if you want. If you've got a one pot, I wouldn't recommend it because it does take an hour and a half. This doesn't. I've already made my rice earlier today because I do prep throughout the day, like I said. So my rice is ready to go. All I've got to do is reheat it. So make sure you've got your rice going. Um, you can actually put this over noodles as well. So anyway, whatever you want to put it over, you certainly can. So we're going to go ahead and let this simmer and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Come back. So we've had this going now for about five minutes simmering. So the cauliflower is almost fork tender, but not quite cooked all the way through because now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients and it's gonna continue to simmer for about 10 more minutes till it's done. So to this pot now, what we're gonna add is we've got one can of coconut milk. You can use coconut cream if you want. It's just a little bit of a sweeter taste. So if you prefer that, that's completely up to you. And then I've got one tablespoon of a red curry paste. So we're gonna put that right in there and we're just gonna mix that up really well. I found that by doing it this way, it breaks it up better. I've done it before where I just put the curry paste in there and then the milk in there and the curry paste just like lumps onto the protein that you have in there. So usually I've done it with chicken and then you get just these chunks of it in your chicken and it's not very tasty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take that lid off of there for just a moment and we're gonna add this in and give it a good stir to mix it all up really well. Now at this point, you also wanna turn your heat down. You wanna take your heat down to about a medium low to low. You don't want it to burn, but you need it to just simmer. And you're not gonna simmer with the lid on either. You're gonna leave the lid off now because you want it to slowly evaporate that juice out of there. So that is now going to sit here and simmer for about, I'll say seven to 10 minutes. Um, yeah, we'll go seven to 10 minutes with that. Just keep an eye on it every once in a while. Give it a stir just to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom of the pan. And you know what? If you've watched any of my other videos and you've tried my recipes or you're gonna try this recipe and I really hope you guys are trying them. Let me know how they turned out for you. Let me know if you tweaked anything, if you deleted or added anything new. So this has been going now for about seven minutes. It's reduced beautifully. So we're almost there. Oh look, Annie's smoking pot. It truly is. <laughs> 
So we are just about there. Um, I know some of you know and some of you don't know that I do live in a tiny home. I live in a, a 288 square foot trailer. So just because you live in a tiny space doesn't mean you cannot cook delicious, healthy meals. I haven't had an oven in five years. In five years, I have not had an oven. I have used an air fryer, you know, a one pot, a burner, a Traeger, a flat top grill, everything. I have a friend of mine, in fact, made the comment just the other day that she wishes she would have known this kind of cooking could exist in a small space because it would have saved her a lot of unhealthy meals when she was in college. Because dorm life, dorm life, what do you think of? You think of microwaves, you think of TV dinners, that kind of thing. You know what? This table, all you need is this is a standing desk actually for computer work that I got off of walmart.com and it works beautifully. Oh, they're not a sponsor by the way. I think, I think we're done. I think we are, oh yeah, that is perfect. This is how you want it to look when you're done. You wanna be able to kind of scrape it from the sides and have the liquid move with you and not leave a bunch behind. Now, like I said, I like to serve it just over plain white rice. You can also do it over noodles if you prefer. I've taken this di this dish and had leftovers from it, throw it in my one pot the next day, add some more rice, and I've turned it into a coconut curry soup. Not with cauliflower, like I said, this is the first time doing it with cauliflower. I have done it with chicken, shrimp, actually. I've done coconut curry shrimp as well, which is amazing. Let's go ahead, and then I also will drip some of the extra on there. I like to top mine with a little chopped chives or green onions, whichever you choose, and a little bit of pickled ginger. The pickled ginger just adds a little bit of like a, I don't know the word, umami, little decadence, a little sweetness, a little tartness. I don't know, but it's good. It's all I know. And there you have it, coconut curry cauliflower. All right, once again, thanks for joining. Leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for something to cook or if you've tried this, let me know how it turned out. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Subscribe helps me build my community and I hope you're part of my community. All right, bye.